Let's listen to unlicensed operation on amateur bands by someone, basically what we used to call using a fictitious call sign on 40 meters. And you might be surprised at what call sign it is. I'll put it near the speaker so you can hear it. W1AW, the ARL, unlicensed operation, inexcusable. The amateur radio service is a personal radio service. It is not a group service. CB radio, FRS, are group licensed radio services, specifically members of family. All members of family can operate under the same call sign, regardless of where they are. This led to a lot of base and mobile operation in CB radio back in the day, and still does. Amateur radio is not licensed for that operation. Amateur radio is a strictly a personal license. That person must be technically competent, therefore you can't just give the call sign out to anybody. The grant of FCC license in the amateur radio service implies two parts. In fact, there are two license forms one for the operator to carry, and one for the station. My call sign is my personal call sign and also my authorization to build and operate a station at a location. I can go portable or mobile, and I can take my station somewhere else, but I can't give you my call sign and say that you can go work in Texas. That's illegal. Well, not only is ARL doing that, or actually their trustee doing it for ARL so ARL can advertise and make money, which is a violation of the pecuniary rule, but ARL has got a new money-making racket to tell people they can go out and use W1AW uh, portable in the various states and are not the same operator. And that's a violation of SEC rules as far as I know. And I've just filed a complaint with the commission about this. W1AW is a station license. It's owned by a trustee. It is not transferable or assignable. On field day, it's practice to go to a club station and have various operators at that location operate under that station trustee license at that fixed location. We don't go on field day and use our own call signs. We use the N1ABCD. And one ABCD is held by a trustee for a station equipment at a location. The important point about that is that the commission knows where the station is. That used to be a lot more important than it is now. It, it's still important, but it used to be you had to actually get authorization from FCC to operate portable. So the problem here is that W1AW is being used in many locations, and there cannot be W1AW in multiple locations. But we don't do that. So, Houston, we have a problem. The excuse for doing this is to say that they want to attract people to amateur radio, which is false, because if they want to attract people to amateur radio, they don't do it by getting on hand bands and transmitting, because the people that they might want to attract are not going to be there. What they're doing is using this for advertising to try to get hams to join ARL. And that's a violation of the pecuniary rule. We don't do that for money. This is on-air advertising. The, this, this practice that's apparently against FCC rules comes from the citizens' band era, where uh, dad was mobile and mom was at home on a CB base station, and there was a mobile and a base. There's no such thing as mobile and base in amateur radio. It does not exist. Mobile and base imply on the same license. They're, they're directly related. No such concept exists in amateur radio. Because again, in amateur radio, this implies two licenses. One for a licensed operator who's supposed to be trained and knowledgeable of FCC rules, but also his station at a location. I can't give you my call sign and have you go operate your own station in Texas. That's against regulations. If that's how it is, there's no point in having a license system, is there? Get BYP out.